Well, Michael, that long wait for a win is now over, and I thought it was a deserving three points. It was. It was a deserving three points. And <clears throat> look, I haven't been too down because the performances in the main have been there. <clears throat> you know, obviously it's frustrating when we don't win um, over that period, but we knew it would change. We've got to keep knocking on the door, keep believing in the players, keep sticking together, like I've said all along. And, um, you know, that win tonight is for the fans. Oh, today is for the fans because today I thought they were excellent, and that's not just because we won, but they were excellent even you know when the game was at nil nil. Uh, they got behind us, and I really appreciate their support. Did the start of the game set the tone because you flew out the traps and Isaac nearly opened the scoring after just thirty seconds? Yeah, when you think about it, we started like that against Barrow, we started like that against Swindon, we started like that against Bradford, you know, and you just what, what you don't want is right. You know, get everybody excited, and then you know, you know, fall off. We we were tired at the end. The the players, you know, we played Tuesday. Gillingham didn't play Tuesday. They had a free uh, free week, and um, you know, we 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 had to change it around. We sat a little bit deep towards the end, but you know, well, they they didn't attack it. So um, the 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 defence today. And defending today was outstanding um, because Oli Hawkins is a handful. Tom Nichols is a very, very talented player at this level, and we kept them quiet, um, which is a compliment to to our players. And Brandon Comley was excellent again in in midfield. We've seen it in previous home games where we've gone one 0 up, and you know the pressure takes its toll, and they get the equaliser. But today, it was all about Connor Wilkinson in you know the the dying moments of that game, and it's almost nearly exactly a year to the day when he scored his last goal and what a moment for him. It is. Is Look, Connor's he's, he's frustrated. He wants more game time. He thinks he's just he was just going to pick up where he left off because he was fit. And it, it's, it, this is what I'm having to deal with, you know, this season with the amount of injuries and explaining to him and getting him to understand that, you know, it's, it takes time. Just because you're fit... And he worked ever so hard to get fit. Um, you know, I'm 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 so pleased for him. That that goal, it, it even bubbled up as well, which um, which could have been disastrous because he might not have gone in. But um, you know, he, he was calm. Uh, I'm very very pleased for him. As a defensive unit, has 15 clean sheets now in all competitions. Really, you know, it's a big milestone, isn't it, to show just how defensively sound we are. And like you say, Brandon Comley sitting in front of them, fantastic yet again. Yeah, uh, it's a, look, if only we took some more chances throughout the season. Not not that this bad, uh, not this spell we've we've just come out of. Um, you know, we've we've had chances to kill teams off, and we haven't. And it's frustrating because we're not. And I'll say it now as well. I said it when we drew. I said it when we lost the battle. We're not a million miles away. Um, you know, there's there's things to tweak. Um, you know, the, uh, another mention I think I've got to say to is Oshin, Oshin McKendy, who's come come back from, you know, he had a horrendous sh shoulder injury in in the summer. Not long after we signed him, um, he's been frustrated. He, you know, he wants more game, but today he was absolutely outstanding. And you mentioned yesterday to us with the school partners game. It was just over six thousand two hundred home fans, and you talked about hopefully inspiring that next generation to come back and hopefully you know some of those will come back to our next home game against Sutton. Oh, like I said, I thought the crowd today was, was fantastic from start to finish. Um, I understand their frustration, like I said yesterday. It is um, it is frustration because they know we're not a million miles away. Um, I'm not getting carried away with one win. You know, we've, got to, we've got to build on this and we've got to finish the season strongly. And if you have a look at the results today, nobody's lying, uh, you know, lying down and giving up. You know, Rochdale four four, Bradford two all against Hartlepool. You know, they're, they're the bottom two teams. Crawley going away and winning. Um, nobody is is um, is giving up. So it's going to be a tough end to the season, but one I'm looking forward to.